SCP Automated File Reading Attention all site personnel, this file is classified to level 5 clearance, if you are below you will be terminated. Meet the 05 command current and former members dossier. Begin reading. 05-105-1, the founder. Male. European descent. American origin. Verified post-human lifespan, 148 plus years of age. Varying appearance. A holdover of the occult organizations preceding the foundation, so he likely benefits from more preservation techniques than merely SCP-006, and he likely possesses a large degree of anomalous protection. References have been made to him being clad in the rags and bones that hadn't been used to mark the other twelve, occult significance obvious. One possible identity for the original administrator, although various other reports assert that the administrator was a separate individual F. Williams. Evidence strongly suggests that he was born in the late 1800s possibly 1866 as Aaron Siegel. Certainly, one Aaron Siegel was a physicist studying at Cornell University in 1891, disappearing from the historical record in this year. This timeline doesn't match what we know of 051's activity, but given his position and the reality restructuring events that have occurred, it's entirely possible. Rumor has it that he's Gear's father. If true, this would make him the Black Queen's grandfather my grandfather. May have gone missing according to some reports, current location unknown. Possibly deceased. Two contradictory sightings stand out. Once in the company of 05-2, appearing as an extremely old man. Once in what appears to be security footage of an underground bunker, appearing as a young teenager. The swallowed tail source also identifies 05-1 as Aaron Siegel, describing him as a Caucasian male, apparently in his mid-30s. Concurs with previous descriptions of 05-1 as a Cornell University physicist and a founding member of the Foundation. Claims that 05-1 has become less active within the Foundation over time, rarely if ever leaving Overwatch Command location unknown. Rumored to be deceased, but still votes in council meetings. Possibly the same individual as another 05-1, the man with the infinity gun. 05-1, the man with the infinity gun. Male. European descent. Spanish origin. Not seen since 03-22-1926. Previously a high-ranking official in a pre-foundation supernatural study organization, and former head of command research team Omega-5, assigned to the Twins of God Top Secret Project at San Marco, Mexico. Participated in the construction of the children, a cosmic superweapon designed to eliminate the group of interest Kingdom of Abaddon, a community of hostile reality-altering entities located in North Africa. Murdered the first Foundation Administrator Frederick Williams and stole the trigger for the weapon, before fleeing and disappearing along with a substantial number of high-ranking staff members, may have founded the Chaos Insurgency Group of Interest possible link to their leader, the Engineer, although this connection is unsubstantiated beyond a single dubious source. Motives for defection remain unclear. Not currently believed to be alive, though it is possible that he has discovered other means of prolonging his life. If alive, possesses the ability to immediately annihilate anything, anywhere in the universe, at any moment. Exceptionally dangerous. 05-1, The Dead Man male unknown descent unknown origin rarely if ever directly seen the oldest surviving founding member of 05 command 05-1 is technically dead he survives only due to anomalous alteration and sheer willpower his body is a mummified corpse and he should biologically be brain dead never appears in public 
when public appearances are necessary sends a stand-in. Works exclusively through intermediaries. Has a somewhat frightening reputation, the other O5 council members seem to be afraid of him. O5-1, Eve. Female. African descent. Ancient Sumerian origin. Verified post-human lifespan, claims to be 10,000 to 15,000 years old. Varying appearance. Claims to be Adam's third wife. Claims to be the mother of modern humanity. Possible mother of SCP-076-2 and SCP-073. Claims that she and Adam were not the first humans, but merely the leaders of the first agricultural humans possibly, reported details vary, who brought humanity from the Garden of Eden. Claims that Adam was or became a reality bender, but that she herself is not. Rather, she possesses protection from reality restructuring via anchors like a few Foundation personnel, including the current administrator and Dr. Alto Clef. Reference SCP-1000, SCP-2932 and Reality Restructuring Cascades O5-1 is a reluctant founding member of the SCP Foundation. As one of those who led humanity from the garden, she felt responsibility for helping to guide humanity through the uncertain future ahead. Reports suggest she may often disagree with the rest of the O5 Council. Despite the fact that they seem to share an O5 number, several reports that reference Eve also reference the founder as existing together, and reference their acrimonious interactions. She seems a curious character. If she's real, I'd like to meet her. Maybe befriend her. Maybe kill her. O5-1, The Visionary. Male. European descent. British origin. Appears to be about 55. Formerly affiliated with Her Majesty's Foundation for the Secure Containment of the Paranormal. Signatory and initiator of the Forbidden City Convention. A principal believer of the Foundation's formation by God's will. Religious backing or disinformation may have strong-armed other precursors into forming the Foundation under threat of annihilation but why those other organizations specifically what do they possess 05-2? 05-2, The Gardener. Female. European descent. American origin. Appears to be 80 plus years old. Actual age unknown, no unusual appearance, but rarely seen without a shawl, gloves, and hat. 05-2 is apparently a second version of Foundation Director Dr. Sophia Light, a holdover from an erased timeline she seems to have had a hand in this erasure. She is very different from the current Sophia Light, director of Site 41, who is unaware of her alternate status or identity. Considered extremely dangerous, even compared to the other O5s. Known for making tough, pragmatic decisions, but also said to have a grandmotherly attitude and appearance. Promotes research of SCP objects and the anomalous in general. Has consistently stuck to this despite regularly shifting foundation attitudes towards containment versus research. Pushed for a reasonable degree of anomalous object cross-testing. Implemented higher standards of non-SCP anomalous item categorization by the foundation. Strong believer in pragmatic research or theoretical research that leads to pragmatic work believing this to be most beneficial to the Foundation in the long run. Wishes to deconstruct the anomalous so that the Foundation understands it. Rarely seen in public. According to some sources, she's always accompanied by an elderly man, may also be an alternate version of a current Foundation employee maintains several SCP objects considered key to O5 command, notably SCP-006. 05-2, The Nazarene. Female. Middle Eastern descent. Israeli origin. Varying appearance, often passes for male. 
possesses injuries consistent with crucifixion notably distinct scars at wrists and feet, marks of whipping, etc. 05-2 is apparently a version of Foundation Dr. Sophia Light, either a holdover from an erased timeline, or, perhaps, the original version of Sophia Light making the publicly known version a duplicate, or the same person from earlier alternate timeline. She appears to be similar to the publicly known Sophia Light in personality and appearance with the exception of ethnicity, but otherwise differs due to extensively differing life experience. The publicly known Sophia Light is unaware of her alternate status or identity. 05-2 possesses various reality-bending capabilities, the extent of which is currently unknown. May have some claim to divine status. Recovered data file L246A1780B23971C20987D091. The swallowed tail source claims that her title is linked to her scars usually concealed by black gloves and a bizarre rumor that she was crucified as Jesus of Nazareth. Generally appears to be in her mid-twenties, but sometimes looks much older. Closely associated with 05-1 the founder, and never seen apart from him. May once have been the head of the Foundation's Department of Morality, the precursor to the Ethics Committee. 05-2, The Way. Male. European descent. American origin. Appears to be 50 plus years old. Actual age unknown. No unusual appearance. 05-2 is apparently a version of Foundation Dr. Sophia Light, either a holdover from an erased timeline, or an immigrant from an alternate timeline. He resembles the current Sophia Light in every way except his gender, age, and first name, Stefan. He travels everywhere with a similarly unusual secretary bodyguard, who he seems to be in a romantic relationship with. She is named Tracy Lament, and appears to be a version of Foundation Agent Troy Lament, and coming from the same origin as 05-2. Neither Dr. Light nor Agent Lament are aware of their double's identity or status. 05-2 has pushed repeatedly for a particular sweeping change to Foundation policy, that anomalous objects which become fully understood by the Foundation be universally declassified and introduced to the non-anomalous scientific community even those alien to current standards of normalcy and established scientific principles. So far, he has met with little success in this endeavor, due to strong opposition from other members of the O5 Council. O5-2, He Who Waits. Mail. European descent. French origin. Appears to be about 60. Formerly affiliated with Estate Noir. Signatory of the Forbidden City Convention. DNA tests indicate that he is apparently an ancestor of Sophia Light. Proposed an anomaly progression model based on the second law of thermodynamics, which was rejected by the other members of the O5 Council since their first known meeting, has usually voted abstain. Coin the term Keter. Contrary to the common translation of crown, he who waits coined Keter in the context of wait. Waiting for what an excerpt from a document authored by 05-2 is as follows, until then, there will be chaos in the system. Once, I proposed that we guide the world back to its original state but the others disagreed in favor of establishing tyranny. Disagreed in favor of, tyranny, insurgency. Possible chaos insurgency member founder sympathizer more research needed. 05-2, The Archivist. 05-2 is an artificial intelligence. According to some reports, 05-2 was an automaton, assembled by the other members of the Foundation using Meconite technology. This 05-2 was valued for his analytic and mathematical ability, and served as a voice of restraint and reason on the Council, but was never fully trusted by the other Council members. More recent reports confirm that an artificial intelligence is still on the Council as 05-2, 
although it is unclear if this actually is the same entity as the original O5-2. If it is, more advanced technology must have been incorporated over time, to create a supercomputer capable of overseeing the entire Foundation database and operating the Panopticon Global Surveillance System. It appears that there was some sort of agreement with the Broken Church to allow this to happen, with the Archivist allegedly acting as the host for a Meconite demigod, however, in more recent church literature references have been made to this version of O5-2 as Sophia, a name with historic significance to the Meconites as a mechanical prophet who betrayed the church to join with its enemies. 05-305-3, The Kid, or the All-Seeing Eye. Male. European descent apparently. Unknown origin. Appears to be 17 to 19, despite being certainly much older. Always has long blonde hair, glasses, patched jean jacket, and a single bone earring. Never seen in person, communicates via computer terminal. Usually presents as male, sometimes as female, sometimes non-binary other. Never explains this. An informant suggested to me that it's a computer error, I find it hard to believe it's not on purpose. Original identity unknown. Various intelligence reports claim that he is actually dead, and only exists in the computer matrices he created as an artificial intelligence. Excessively friendly in personality. Usually. A relatively active O5 member at certain sites. Assorted rumors hold that O5-3 is the brother of SCP-2772 probable, and may have helped invent the internet in the 1960s unknown. May have never been human, possibly an artificial intelligence referred to in Foundation documentation as the all-seeing eye. The swallowed tail source connects the kid with an image of dubious provenance depicting a Korean child, but regards this image with skepticism. True appearance of O5-3 unknown. O5-3 is reportedly the head of the Foundation's Record Keeping and Information Security Administration, managing all of the Foundation's digital records. Appears to be capable of predicting future events, including extra-normal ones. Is this just a matter of having all of the data, or are anomalous means being used O5-3, the philosopher-scientist? Male. East Asian descent. Japanese origin. Appears to be 60 plus years old. Actual age unknown. No unusual appearance. Joined the O5 Council in the 1930s, shortly after World War I. Known for caring about the social ramifications of science, strongly opposed social Darwinism. Generally a voice of caution the conscience of the O5 Council, even if often overridden by other members, and even if often endorsing Foundation projects he does not fully agree with. Help found the Ethics Committee. Possibly still plays a lead role in the organization if it even exists. While already an O5 Council member, gained a PhD in clinical psychology was the original person responsible for implementing psychological checkups of Foundation personnel. 05-3, The Beacon. Male. European descent. American origin. Appears to be 50-plus years old. Actual age unknown. Varying appearance. Made a lifelong study of various methods of controlling large groups of people. A particular fascination with religion and religious cults. Convinced by other O5 members to investigate making large groups of people profitable as well. O5-3 is particularly shrouded in myth, he is presented as a literal supernatural figure in some reports, and as a perfectly ordinary man in others. Ordinarily, this could be chalked up to religiously related manipulation, but as an O5 member, some claim to divine status cannot be discounted. Possibly connected to L. Ron Hubbard. 05-3, The Hermit. Male. 
European descent. Russian origin. Appears to be about 80. Has a prominent beard. Formerly affiliated with the Tsar Seers. Signatory of the Forbidden City Convention. Bends to consensus decision easily, even if said consensus decision is not originally his choice. Only directly interacts with other O5 council members. Uses written messages to convey orders to subordinates. Known to consistently stay in Overwatch HQ Potential Secret Keeper 05-4. 05-4, The Ambassador. Male. Australian Cory descent. Canadian origin. Mid 40s. No unusual appearance. Assigned female at birth. Former Foundation field agent. Many recorded sightings, unlike all other members of O5 Command, commonly interacts with agents or representatives of outside anomalous groups of interest. He also works with the administrator in a more traditional ambassador role, privately meeting with heads of state and high-tier organizations such as the Global Occult Coalition United Nations to negotiate such matters as foundation access to countries has a sizable staff of diplomats working under him. Allegedly capable of traveling vast distances in an impossibly short time, apparently by foot. Surprisingly open about personal details, but the details of this ability are kept under wraps. Pertinently, how does he keep finding me and why doesn't he share that with the rest of the foundation possibly bound to an esoteric anomalous rule set? Requires investigation. Excerpt from intercepted communication, a lot of fieldwork and being in the wrong place at the right time. Got to be a little bit of a diplomat, and ended up getting sent out to talk to various goys over the years. Got pretty good at it. Too good, really. Another of those who ended up being promoted because he's so damned good at his job, but not entirely trusted because he walks places people shouldn't go, and keeps secrets. His loyalty isn't in doubt. Just the wisdom of his excursions. The Swallowed Tail source also depicts the ambassador as the public face of the foundation, but differs on all other details. Described as a Persian male, Iranian-Armenian ancestry, early 30s, originally a French stage actor known as Jean Lemieux Bertrand, born Jean Ibrahimi. Allegedly anomalously charismatic, but there's no evidence that he's anything more than a pretty face. Defers to 05-7 Green. Loyalty to the Foundation is questionable, possible weak link 05-4, the martyr. Deceased. Male. European descent. American origin. Early 40s. No unusual appearance. Gained his position when forced to execute a prior 05-4 during an attempted hostile takeover of the Foundation. Held the position reluctantly, later died under highly classified circumstances. Publicly, at least, said to have died a hero's death. I suspect otherwise, but the reports claim he was genuinely grieved, so perhaps true. 05-4, Frost. Deceased. Male. European descent. American origin. Early 40s. No unusual appearance. A relaxed, gentle man, despite his stern reputation. Not shy about appearing in public, or publicizing his projects. Kept up impressive security measures to counter this. Known for traveling with a large, friendly mastiff named Almost Comically Rover. Did not reflect the mindset of his compatriots regarding use of anomalous objects. Strongly opposed the weaponization of SCP objects. One of several O5 Council members who strongly opposed cross-testing and in many cases general research on the anomalous as well came into his own after the series of incidents that included SCP-076 causing the destruction of Area 25 and MTF Omega-7, 
Dr. Kondriki mostly destroying Site-19 by deliberation of breaching 682 in reaction to manipulation by O5 members, a researcher wiping himself and several sites from existence, and a string of serious accidents resulting from cross-testing SCP objects. Following these incidents, O5-4 and his newfound allies within O5 Command found their position suddenly quite popular indeed. A great number of projects were outright ended, and a new policy came into effect, little research on anomalous objects should be done except that which is necessary for containment. Research was considered too dangerous. SCP objects would be examined mostly in isolation from each other. Cross-testing mostly ceased. This would be unofficial foundation policy for the better part of the following decade. O5 Force Sway began to fail in more recent times, and then he was abruptly assassinated by operatives of the Chaos Insurgency. In practice, this could mean almost anything, given the nature of the insurgency. O5-4, The Collector. Removed. Mail. Descent unknown. Origin unknown. Age unknown. Appearance unknown. O5-4 was the first to personally succeed in bringing a complete series of little misters into Foundation containment, and became Mr. Collector, allegedly with assistance from the discontinued Mr. Red. Now contained as an anomalous individual, and so removed from the O5 Council. O5-4, the gangster. Defected. Male. European descent. American origin. Appearance unknown. O5-4 played a large role in foundation manipulation of world governments and economic systems. Additionally, he had extensive ties to organized crime and domestic terrorism, ties which existed before his elevation to the O5 Council. He simply never let them go, and the obvious utility of crime connections during the Foundation's early years allowed him to justify these questionable continuing relationships. Most people who the Foundation disappeared or assassinated during their formative years were targeted under the auspices of O5-4, helped design the first iteration of the Chaos Insurgency as a Foundation Black Ops project before defecting with the fully realized Chaos Insurgency during the Foundation Civil War. Although not a mastermind of the true insurgency better thought of as an alliance between then O5-7 and then O5-11, is likely significantly responsible for its success post-schism, for when he left, he took his connections with him. When O5-4 defected, the Foundation wiped out all his operations and reassigned or terminated his remaining staff. Though this was likely a good choice for them long term, this partially contributed to certain destabilizations in world economies of the time. Rumored to have known Al Capone and a number of other crime lords personally. O5-4, The Veteran. Male. European descent. German origin. Appears to be about 50. Has a prominent mustache. Formerly affiliated with the Imperial German Anomalous Matters Examination Agency. Signatory of the Forbidden City Convention. Believed to have fought in the Fifth Occult War on behalf of the German Empire, and defeated the Militia United in Righteousness aka the Boxers. Professes unusually detailed knowledge of divide and mechanist military tactics. Claims to have met Napoleon Bonaparte in person, although he claims that the iteration of Bonaparte whom he met is anomalously enhanced. Likes to join agents and mobile task force members during field operations. Restless and does not like desktop jobs. O5-4, The Analyst. Male, European descent. British origin. Elderly appearance. Brother to O5-8, The Heretic. An expert in anomalous history, especially the history of the urine and fe. The overseer responsible for research and experimentation. A former member of the Commission on Unusual Cargo, 
in his youth he was able to explore much of the world both mundane and anomalous. While overseers are meant to stay away from anomalies, there are reports that he allows himself the occasional excursion, although only when his expertise is needed. 05-505-5, Blackbird. Male. European Middle Eastern descent. American origin. Appears to be mid-40s, almost certainly older. Favors tweed suits, usually worn with coat and a hat with a blackbird pin. Wears ties with birds. Blackbirds seem to be some sort of personal motif, unknown significance, if any. Overly friendly and familiar in demeanor. Tends to be laid back and jovial given the option. One of the more prominent O5s, relatively often seen in public. Little is known about his specific role, though he has been on the council a long time. An artist of some talent, known to sketch five blackbirds as a signature. The Swallowed Tail source describes Blackbird as the head of the Department of Paranormal Organization Review, which records and monitors the Foundation's groups of interest. Also takes an interest in anomalies interacting with alternate realities. Subordinates report overhearing him talking to himself, and acting like different people at different times. This individual seems to always occupy a prominent position within an organization focused on the anomalous, even in realities in which he isn't a member of the foundation. He can be bargained with, but do not underestimate him. He may well be the most dangerous member of the O5 Council. O5-5, The Ordinary Man. Male. European descent. American origin. Appears to be mid-40s. Appearance is thoroughly ordinary, prefers to appear average in almost every way. Exception, almost always seen wearing tanned leather shoes. Very little knowledge is available about O5-5. Has been known to occasionally travel with SCP-108 for unknown reasons. Given experimentation records on 108, I suspect he may intend to use her either directly or via research as some form of last-ditch escape route. 05-5, the entrepreneur, or the treasurer. Male. European Middle Eastern descent. Western European origin. Mid-40s. No unusual appearance. 05-5 oversees the Foundation's front organizations. He creates funding for almost all foundation projects. Habitually manipulates economies to the foundation's benefit. He doesn't accomplish this directly by anomalous means, yes, the foundation could just make gold, but then injecting large amounts of gold into an economy would tend to destabilize it. 05-5 doesn't just run the front organizations, he makes them profitable. Others hire the workers, 05-5 pays them. Never seen in public. Many reports identify him as the same person as 05-5 Blackbird, and others call Blackbird a fiction or a false double. 05-5, Manifest Destiny. Male. European descent. American origin. Appears to be about 50. Clean shaven. Formerly affiliated with the American Secure Containment Initiative. Signatory of the Forbidden City Convention. A firm believer in human mastery over nature. Involved in the decimation of SCP-2750. Makes frequent trips to Yellowstone Park purpose unknown. 05-5, The Black Cat. Apparently, 05-5 is a black house cat. This version of 05-5 is generally disguised as some sort of companion animal for a decoy 05-5, but behind closed doors the black cat is in charge. I'd dismiss this as an obvious falsehood, but I have a friend with a similar appearance, and it hasn't stopped her from becoming a major figure in the serpent's hand. I'd say this couldn't happen in the foundation, 
but if they kept Cain Pathos Crow around despite him being transformed into a dog, I suppose anything is possible. 05-605-6, Cowboy, or the American. Male. European descent. American origin. Mid-40s. Long hair kept in a ponytail. Nearly always dresses in white suits, with a white Stetson boss of the Plains cowboy hat, and carries a white cane with the handle carved in the shape of a wolf's head. Unknown significance, if any. Former top foundation field agent, other details of prior identity unknown probable wife but he may be a member of the Bright family. Professional yet genial. Reputation for high competency. Plays something of a jack-of-all-trades role within the foundation, but focuses particularly on issues of foundation security. One of the O5s seen more often in public. Travels with two male bodyguards referred to as Thompson and Black. The swallowed tail source indicates that the American was once known as Rufus King, a Union Brigadier General and Minister to the Papal States before joining the Foundation. Now serves as Special Counsel to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, liaison between the Foundation and the Pentagon. Has authority just below or just above that of the U.S. President. Commands the Foundation's Department of Applied Influence Private Army, alleged to have founded Mobile Task Force Alpha 1 Red Right Hand may have been involved in the creation of Mobile Task Force Omega-7 Pandora's box at the behest of General Bo, despite initial opposition to this project. Prioritizes American interests. Arrogant, often overconfident. Skilled with a whip. Appears to be in his mid-fifties, but for his military record to be true he'd have to be the oldest council member, with some way of extending his lifespan even before joining the foundation. This is either a blatant fabrication by someone who couldn't even get the dates right, or worth looking into further. 05-6, the figurehead, or the elder. Male. African descent. American origin. Verified post-human lifespan, likely 200 plus years of age. One of the founding members of the O5 Council, O5-6 was already old when he joined. He is now said to have aged beyond even the abilities of SCP-006 to rejuvenate him. He still survives, for now, but he rarely if ever takes any action on the O5 Council. His secretary runs things for him, up to and including voting according to his wishes on O5 Council matters. 05-6, The Puppet. Male. European descent. American origin. Early 40s. Typically dresses in tasteful suits. Rarely seen in public, but a very active member of O5 Command internally. What few are aware of is that he is a puppet inserted into the O5 Council by the Global Occult Coalition as a possible future attempt at a hostile takeover, or perhaps a fail-safe. It seems possible that some or all of the other O5 Council members are aware of his status as a turncoat, and tolerate the situation for their own reasons. Perhaps they view him as a potential asset or at least view the knowledge of his situation as a potential asset. O5-6, The Experimenter. Male. European descent. Austrian origin. Appears to be about 65. Formerly affiliated with the Imperial Commission on Transgressive Occurrences. Signatory of the Forbidden City Convention. Advocates for scientific methodology within the Foundation. Chiefly in charge of R&D coined the terms Euclid and Transreality Memory Retention. What exactly is Transreality Memory Retention 05-7? 05-7 green. Female. South Asian descent. Unknown origin. Appears to be mid-40s, almost certainly older. Somewhat overweight. Nearly always dresses in various shades of green clothing. Unknown significance, 
if any. One of the longer-term members of the O5 Council. Described as not especially morally scrupulous with her power, although with her heart in the right place, or at least near the right place. A master tactician, charismatic and dangerous. Does not often appear in public, and often works through intermediaries at first, a believer in private meetings over public speeches. Generally friendly in demeanor in personal interactions, right up until she's not. Possibly an ex-university professor surprisingly. Has implemented a number of training programs in various areas across the foundation. Also notable for adopting Dr. Alto Clef and approving a number of his experimental and sometimes unnecessarily dangerous projects. Takes an active interest in foundation personnel, often plays a role in recruiting O5 Council General Staff. Also plays an active role in the development of experimental and even anomalous weaponry. The swallowed tail source identifies a somewhat similar O5-7. Green or flytrap is described as a Caucasian female of British-German ancestry, appearing to be in her early 50s. Nickname comes from her green pantsuits. Believed to have had a long career within the foundation before being voted onto the council, possibly as the first replacement of an original council member. Ruthlessly pursues her unknown goals, de facto leader of the O5 council as long as O5-1 does not exercise veto power. Her appearances are a source of dread for those outside of the foundation, who describe her as the devil or the spider. Despite her reputation, she does not appear to possess any anomalous abilities. 05-7, the unlikely. Male. European descent. American origin. Appears to be mid-40s, likely older. No unusual appearance. Reputation for being somewhat dangerous to be around. Has survived a curious number of assassination attempts unscathed with the assassins dead in the wake of the attempts, Unusual that an O5 would both leave themselves vulnerable to so many attempts and also survive so many in such a manner. Possible anomalous protection. Takes a special interest in SCP objects stolen or acquired by the chaos insurgency. Numerous reports indicate that O5-7 is, in fact, the current head of the chaos insurgency, despite this directly contradicting many other reports about the Chaos Insurgency's status as a splinter organization. Reports differ on whether the rest of the O5 Council is unaware of this, or knows and partially or fully endorses it. O5-7, the professor or the heretic. Defected. Male. European descent. American origin. Appearance unknown. A professor at a major university and a trained psychologist, held the former position even while a member of the O5 Council, before disappearing from both upon defection. Developed a large number of training programs across the Foundation, many of which are still in use today in some form. One of the primary instigators of the Foundation's civil war. Defected from the foundation along with the then current O5-4, O5-11 and O5-12, as well as a number of foundation generals and another O5 who was killed during the schism. A major thought leader in the insurgency, possibly co-created the first iteration of the insurgency, which seems to have been originally an organization used for covered foundation operations under another relatively nonsensical name, and likely still exists in this form as well as the Latter-day article. Embraced the name Chaos Insurgency as legitimate during the schism, is likely the reason the Chaos Insurgency is called the Chaos Insurgency. Apparently still active in the insurgency to this day. Advocated for research into numerous venues the rest of the O5 Council deemed too dangerous to touch, including Chaos Magics and a Reality Warping God Engine both in current use by the Chaos Insurgency today. Advocated for large-scale weaponization and active use of SCP objects. 
spent an inordinate amount of time researching the brain structure of anomalous humanoids. Foresaw the increase in anomalies that was only beginning to be experienced by the foundation and general anomalous community of the time, expressed that to survive, the foundation would need to move from merely preserving normalcy to actively determining normalcy, and determining the future for the human race at large. Accused of having a god complex, took these accusations as a compliment. Took the position that god was missing or dead, and therefore the foundation needed to take his place. A line often quoted by his supporters, Heaven is empty, and all the angels are here. 05-7, Teeth A gender East Asian descent Chinese origin Verified post-human lifespan Appears to be mid-40s, almost certainly older Androgynous appearance in normal form Always wears two ivory hair sticks Reports claim these were fashioned from human teeth bone, obvious occult significance Unusually for an O5 council member, it seems unclear whether O5-7 was originally fully human. They possess the ability to shift between a human form and a variety of difficult-to-describe eldritch beings. They are supposedly involved in the containment of and maybe collaboration with certain extraplanar entities beyond Lovecraft's weirdest dreams. This is an unusual set of reports. This 05-7 is supposedly both very human hard to get more specifically human than all those culturally specific details, and yet supernatural to an extreme degree. The consistency in the reports has disturbing implications about the Foundation's hidden activities, even if this 05-7 is a cover for someone or something else. 05-7, The Cardinal Male European Descent Catholic. Appears to be about 70. Formerly affiliated with the Royal Office for Christian Artifacts, a splinter organization from the Vatican Holy Office for Secrets and Prophecies. Signatory of the Forbidden City Convention. A post-foundation attempts to enforce control over the Middle East during the early 20th century, citing that it is already taken care of. Possible foreknowledge of ORIA or an equivalent organization 05-7, The Immortal. Male. Australian. Biologically 58 years old. Former Prime Minister of Australia, Harold Holt. Currently contained as SCP-3477-3. Joined the O5 Council in 1967 as a ploy to gain access to SCP-006, in an attempt to achieve immortality. One of the only O5s to be directly recruited from the civil sector. Attempt was successful until the sudden appearance of several more individuals claiming to be Harold Holt, at which point he was stripped of all authority and given an SCP designation was within containment for 46 years, until all Harold Holt staged a containment breach. Evidence suggests there may be as many 77 different versions of Harold Holt, each with their own form of immortality. Reason for this unknown. Possibly a quantum collation of different outcomes, a deliberate attempt at creating many versions to guarantee at least one would survive, or an example of a multiverse collapse. 05-8, the newbie, or the lesser. Male. European descent. American origin. Mid-30s. No unusual appearance. A former foundation site director, a recent elevation to the 05 council between 6 and 9 years as of 2014. One of his first actions as an O5 council member was to approve of Dr. Kondriki's plan to neutralize the former SCP-083. This plan resulted in the breaching of multiple SCP objects, including Kondriki deliberately breaching SCP-682, and in the near destruction of Site-19. This incident appears to have led to the O5-ordered assassination of Kondriki by Dr. Gears. Though he was not removed from the O5 Council over this, 
05-8 never recovered, and is now much more cautious. Still shaken from the fallout of the incident, he continues to rely on support staff to accomplish all of his duties including the hiring and replacing of support staff. Thus far, 05-8 has avoided further serious incidents, but rumor has it that the situation with his current crop of staff is unstable and likely to cause further mistakes. Possibly assassinated. Has not appeared in public for some time. The Swallowed Tail source claims that the title of the lesser refers to the American industrialist Baron Lehman Hoadley, much diminished in influence following the death of his brother and the loss of his vast fortune. Recent physical descriptions are hard to come by, since he rarely leaves his personal estate, apparently out of fear of the other council members. Reportedly obsessed with self-modification through the use of anomalous items, current capabilities unknown. 05-8, Magnolia. Female. European descent. Appears to be mid-50s, likely older. Deliberately not beautiful in appearance. 05-8 is known for being brutal and harsh, though never arbitrarily, known for making hard decisions. Known to have played a deciding vote in the decision to nuke several significant foundation sites during a particularly deadly breach. Her physical appearance is deliberate. Overseers certainly can alter their appearance if they wish. This seems to be due to an emotional state plagued by guilt. Considered vulnerable to assassination attempts due to rumors that she would welcome them. Wears a ring of human sinew. Occult significance obvious. Possibly assassinated. Has not appeared in public for some time. 05-8, Dogwood. Male. European descent. American origin. Mid-30s. No unusual appearance. 05-8 is one of several 05 members to focus on foundation security. Notable in particular for expanding mobile task force funding and recruitment, responsible for a general proliferation and expansion of MTFs after the destruction of Omega-7 initially resulted in cutbacks. Said to have a relatively low-key personality, but prone to becoming slowly more aggressive as situations escalate, many underlings report that he is very pleasant to work with at first, but invariably sours relationships as they evolve over the years. There are also reports that Dogwood is in fact associated with another 05-10, the newbie the lesser, and that Dogwood is one of the actual 058's competing chiefs of staff, whose star is presently falling due to internal drama. Even more reports claim that Dogwood and 05-6 Cowboy are the same person, and that the negative attributes assigned to Dogwood are the result of disgruntled ex-staff members who couldn't live up to 056 standards. It is unclear if this is yet more disinformation. Possibly assassinated. Has not appeared in public for some time. 05-8, The Terse. Male. European descent. Dutch origin. Age unknown. Formerly affiliated with the Special Investigations Board, Dutch East Indies Company. Signatory of the Forbidden City Convention. Does not speak much with others. Speech limited only by necessity. Another secret keeper coined the term group of interest, and strongly advocates for their dissolution by the Foundation. Appears to be indiscriminate towards various goys, no known vendetta against any known goy consistently vetoes any attempt for the foundation to adopt a parliamentary leadership reminiscent of the Global Occult Coalition's Council of 108, advocatory for the 05 Council structure. Prevent dilution of his own authority 05-8, the forgotten. We are unable to recall any personal details about this individual, even under the influence of class Wymnes ticks. 05-8 has an unclear connection to the Foundation's Antimemetics Division, likely its leader or founder. 
0508 is so strongly affected by the memory erasing effects of anomalous anti-memes that the other 05 council members must ensure they regularly consume memory enhancing mystic drugs to avoid forgetting that 05-8 exists. 05-8, the heretic. Female, European descent. British origin. Appears to be in her 20s. Sister to 05-4. The Analyst. Founding member of the SCP Foundation, although she doesn't look it. Recruited into the General Assembly of Thaumaturgists and Theologists against Queen Mab from Her Majesty's Foundation for the Secure Containment of the Paranormal. Currently acts as the Special Projects Advisor, overseeing research related to reality bending, thaumaturgy, and theology. There are persistent rumors that she has hands-on experience with her subject matter, although obviously the foundation is never going to confirm whether she actually has onto kinetic abilities. 05-9, The Outsider, or The Ordinary. Female. European Pacific Islander descent. New Zealand origin. Appearance consistent with recorded age of 53. Carries a walking stick with jade inlays, items purpose unclear, whether occult, or practical. 05-9 is one of the most unusual 05s, for an oddly mundane reason, she appears to have been inducted directly into the 05 council from the public sector. The reason for her recruitment is unknown, given her complete lack of previous foundation experience. Formerly Donna Watu Taylor, a noted geologist, she was inducted shortly after retracting a major publication and resigning in scandal. Stated reason for the retraction was scientific misconduct including fabrication of data, but the scandal was more likely a foundation cover-up, the few available fragments of the retracted publication suggest that Taylor had discovered several geological and geophysical anomalies, and was developing a general theory of their function. Strong advocate for research of anomalous phenomena, including those with SCP designations, possible ally of 05-2 The Gardener. Apparently partially responsible for allowing the recent dramatic expansion of the Foundation's classified technical journals a project apparently spearheaded by Regional Director Catherine McTyris, if rumor is correct. Goals appear to include the development of a general explanatory theory for anomalous phenomena. 059's unusual circumstances have led to a large number of contradictory reports. As far as I can tell, she replaced or superseded a prior 05-9 misfortune. It said her appointment barely passed, with a council vote of 7 to 6. At least three votes swung to her side at the last moment. Evidence of tension within Overwatch, of note, many sources claim that 05-9 is personally close with 05-10 The Archivist, but the Swallowed Tail source claims extreme antagonism. It's doubtful this is a coincidence. The two are intertwined, one way or another. I wouldn't doubt that both claims are true, because both were involved in a certain incident which would be unwise for us to discuss in this forum. One might say I recommend drawing zero conclusions. 05-9, Misfortune. Varying age, appearance, etc. Original unknown. Carries a bone-handled knife, obvious occult significance. Reputation for being extremely unlucky. Restricted to underwater foundation facilities. May or may not still hold an 05 council position, but certainly plays a role regardless. 059's personality is based in SCP-963-2. Original version attempted to replicate SCP-963 successfully. However, SCP-963-2 only holds the memories, experiences, and personality of 05-9 up until his first death. When 05-9 is killed and he has been killed several times he is reset. After each death, he has to be informed of events that took place after the time of his first death. 
possibly replaced by another 05-9, The Outsider. Reports claim his removal state that it was not voluntary, and was caused by one or more of the following, a series of repeated resets rendering him useless. Corruption or damage to SCP-963-2 causing personality damage. Resistance to any form of change after being reset repeatedly. Inability to change with the times due to being reset repeatedly. Refusal to make use of his vote during an incident in which it was vital post-reset. Which is most likely is unclear. 05-9, The Lovers, or Willow. Both, male. European-African descent. American origin. Appear to be mid-30s, actual age is unknown. No unusual appearance except that they are relatively similar in appearance while apparently unrelated. 05-9 is two people sharing the same position. They appear to be lovers. They change positions regularly, with one playing the role of bodyguard assistant to the other. 05-9 plays a support role within the foundation. Primarily, 05-9 handles feeding the foundation. They generally have a hand in procuring mass amounts of food via ordinary methods, and their staff cover it up. But they don't limit themselves to non-anomalous means. Reports also abound of vast anomalous fields growing food to feed Foundation personnel, and entire rivers created in certain remote areas of countries to produce water. 05-9, Out of Place Male European Descent Fluent in English, French, Dutch, and Afrikaner. Appears to be about 50. Formerly affiliated with the Inner Africa Expeditionary Society, an organization funded by King Leopold of Belgium. Signatory of the Forbidden City Convention. Professes irritation towards his employment under King Leopold. Frequently rotates residents between multiple locations within Sub-Saharan Africa, particularly Belgian Congo, British Kenya, and South Africa. Perhaps to deter spies, prompted the O5 Council to declassify a previous iteration of SCP-1851. Holds great interest towards the concept of anchoring reality. Sets aside a trust fund to research on counterontokinetic stratagems, essentially leading to the discovery of Hume's Preparation against Ontokinetic Threat 05-9, The Secret Keeper Male Caucasian descent Swiss origin Confirmed to be between the age of 45 to 51 No unusual appearance The title of 05-9 is passed down to any individual that holds the title of the Director of the Intelligence Agency it is unknown how many personnel have held the title of 05-9. Records have indicated that the 05 Council has indicted and removed at least one person from the title, for gathering too much information on other Council members. 05-9 is tasked with keeping the intelligence agency in line, and has been known to actively participate in missions regarding new or unknown goys, specifically with the Mages Academy. 05-9, The Oracle Female Caucasian descent Polish origin Age between 29 and redacted No unusual appearance, with the exception of anomalously red irises Foundation thaumaturgy and theology specialist, recruited from an outside cult solely to obtain information about a level 12 defic entity it worshipped directly involved in the Damien Nowak case. Proven to be a traitor in 1985 by taking control over the Foundation in an attempt to murder the rest of the O5 Council and then putting the blame on a personal enemy of hers. Later revealed to be the result of a non-anomalous human thaumaturge named Natalie Ashworth coming into contact with the previously mentioned deity. Dead following direct contact with the rest of the god. Current position remains vacant. 05-10 Surrey, Overseers 10, to 13 are not available. 
file will now close. End file.